Welcome to Nocro Nation. Welcome back, guys. Jarrell here. And I'm Josh. And today, guys, Fear the Walking Dead, does it have a future? Are there going to be spinoffs for this series? Yes. Yeah, so we already do know that season eight is uh, confirmed. Renewed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's been renewed. Um, so that that's really great news. Uh, we still have to get through the next half of season seven to find out if... Uh, major characters are going to be coming along for season eight. Uh, one of them, Alicia. Next is going to be Strand, depending on how this war is going to go. Madison is back, and um, it's just expanding on on the story. Like, what is the future of fear? Um, spinoffs. Spinoffs. Like, you know, you know the Carol and Daryl spinoff. Are they going to do anything like that for any characters well, on fear? Let's talk about the future of the main series, right? Yeah. Like, one thing that I don't want, and we've talked about this in another uh, video that we did, is... I don't want a trade-off of a Clark to a Clark. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to lose Alicia and gain Madison. We already know we're gaining Madison, but are we losing Alicia? Yeah. That's what I don't want. Yeah, we definitely don't. I don't want that either. Um, just how it's looking right now, it may seem that way, but we still don't know yeah. the extent of... Yeah, she's dealing with her arm being gone. She's still feverish, but that could be, you know, just infection. It could be something else. I, we don't I'm, know yet. I'm going to make a prediction that we keep all the main characters actually up mm. until the point where we get Madison. Um, I think we're going to keep Alicia. Madison's going to want to see her child. Like the fans want that reunion. Yeah. Um, and I think strand lives and you know, mm. I think the, I think that Madison probably quote unquote saves the day and that kind of propels strand into what have I become type yeah. type, uh, you know, redemption arc. Yeah, because the this this whole war situation is, you know, for one, they have to be able to get in the building. They're surround the building's surrounded by walkers. Um, but what are they gonna do? There's there's kids, there's men and other women in there who may not truly agree with how Strand's running things, but they're safe. They're yeah. secure. So they're not gonna really try to go behind his back to pull out a coup, right? John and June are in there. Uh Grace, those are prime examples Grace, of what you just said. Yeah. Grace is in there. The baby, Wendell. You know. uh, it's. Are they really gonna do a coup from the inside? I mean, June. Uh, you know, Morgan was basically telling June what was going on, and June was like, "I'm not running anymore. I'm not gonna try to do anything bad. Like, I'm here. I'm alive. We're good." But you know, let's look at it from Alicia's side, right? Like, here's my argument about against Alicia saying, "I'm gonna destroy." your tower right <laughs> yeah. you were willing to forgive charlie for killing your brother your blood mm -hmm. but yet you're going to destroy strand yeah yeah i didn't get that part that either. doesn't sound right at all yeah that didn't sit well with me either i mean i you know we know that a lot of people want charlie dead and her story isn't <laughs> her story isn't really much not really. Um, I mean, we haven't even gotten Rabbi Jacob. I mean, like, I don't know. Maybe the actor's been busy doing other stuff, but they're just having a hard... It's it's kind of also like what The Walking Dead's dealing with. They have a hard time writing for all these characters, and you just leave yeah. them behind, and you're wondering, where are they? Like, the like, and I'm sure a lot of you don't care, and we did a video on this a while back, like, what about those kids <laughs> from season five? They just... In one of Virginia's areas, did they survive the blast? I don't know. Those kids are dead. Man, like, they're dead. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, they didn't. Okay, that's another um, plot hole. But yeah, you know, um, spinoff wise, yeah. you know what spinoff I'd love to see? Mm. I'd love to see a Dwight and Sherry spinoff. That would be awesome. Um, that would be really cool. Specifically, like, if you really want me to know, like, want to know, I'd love to see Dwight try and make his way back to Alexandria. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I could see Dwight talking to sherry and um trying to see if she'd want to go back now, she wouldn't want to now, go of back course, the, you know the fear about negan they've kind of gotten oh, over shit, it dude negan's you, there i forgot you know, yeah <laughs> you, you got to remember that they are in a different timeline right sherry now sherry would instantly want to kill him yeah yeah so, so that's not gonna work yeah I'll have, <laughs> i will have to, i will have to look up online um for the universe timeline where fear is right now to what the events of Walking Dead's going on right now. I'll have to look. So, like, if, if they did make it back, where would they be? Like, oh, like you know what I'm saying? Right. Would, Negan, would Negan be in jail already? Or would it just be... Because All Out War ended. So, yeah, he's in jail. Yeah, he's in jail. So, All Out War ended. So, yeah, I mean, Negan would, wouldn't really be a threat. Yeah, but they'd have to fast forward the timeline of Dwight and Sherry. 
to line up with uh it took it took dwight what what do you say i think it took morgan i think it took him a year yeah. to get down there so about a year so yeah it'd be interesting to see the events of what's going on negan's the walking dead. around yeah negan's all out <laughs> um yeah dwight and sherry would be a good one um we're hoping that for tales of the walking dead the spinoff kind of things that they'll, they'll do some fear characters i think they you know we would love to see more with like the proctors um that girl diana the black girl who ran into alicia she was cool she would have been really cool uh, a really good um, one would be the bounty hunter's brother the bounty hunter's brother I would forgot be a his good name. one yeah that would be good um we always wanted to hear about uh, uh crazy dog and walker yeah yeah those yeah. two those yeah. two survived um yeah there's many more but and, uh, I, and i'd like to know more about troy yeah, where's Troy? What's Troy doing? I hate to bring that up every video. I have to, dude. We got we got some cool comments from people that would love to see Troy back too. Dude, yeah. yeah, you can survive a, a hammer to the head and Absolutely. then a, a dam falling on top of you, like, and and floating away in the in you know water I, yeah absolutely yeah, you're fine you're absolutely <laughs> fine where's, where's Troy um, um, no I'm trying to think of you know if there's anything other from fear i mean uh, you hit the good ones walker and um what's his name crazy dog crazy dog i mean yeah. that'd be a good one but those two are cool you know is there going to be much with them because they're you know they're they more respected the land and could live off of the land so yeah if anyone's going to survive these events it's going to be those two guys yeah i would probably think that he's just going to you know take the ranch back in a sense and you know just make it in, into a community and then just deal with any other walkers that come their way and then you just have to deal with the normal people dying man wasn't um, he brutal when we first saw him oh yeah yeah he was brutal but he the reason he was brutal was because his land was stolen his land. <laughs> he wanted his land and his people so yeah, guys, I mean, you know, there's there's people out there that, you know, love and hate The Walking Dead. There's people that dropped off The Walking Dead the minute Negan came onto the scene and they never came back. Well, they kind of come back because they kind of post comments at like, oh, I stopped watching years ago. But, you know, they still at least are watching, watching or, uh, to see paying what's attention to paying the attention to see what's happening, yeah. you know, which is fine. Fear, it's 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 very different with fear. You know, there's we have the fandom that loves fear and then you have the fandom that just it never ever got on to fear and which is fine you know there's shows that i never get on to but I, I think the problem with fear with being the sister show is you know yes you have to be able to attach to the characters but when you change the character when you change the core sometimes too quickly it seems that people can drop off now you, i mean with fear you had we had our main core the clarks we had you know we had daniel we had um, you know, his daughter, which I'm forgetting her name at the moment, but a lot of things changed between definitely running into season four. Was it Althea? No, not Althea. I forgot her name now. But um, but definitely season four was like the biggest change, and that was the 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 main change yeah. in season four. And that you know that the quality in what, season Frank four was leaving. Down. Yeah, and Madison as well. And yeah, you know, uh, you know they couldn't do anything about Frank. Could they have though? Like, do you think if they would have shelled out more money? I don't know. I don't know what that actor didn't. I mean, he said he wanted to move on. He said his character basically has run his course. He was pretty much done with it. I don't know, dude. I think you should have kept yeah. Troy alive and him. Yeah. Both of those together made an amazing. <sighs> do a spinoff of. Do a spinoff of Troy and Nick back in the day when they were together, like maybe some stuff we never saw like because in the timeline. Those guys had mutual respect for one another. Mm -hmm. And I'm sorry, but the episode they where both he crazy. got Troy screwed, fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> so that high. was awesome because yeah. here you saw someone like Troy that wasn't vulnerable mm -hmm. um, in Nick's world, now vulnerable. Right. And he was just like, they put they did the blood and guts trick and they were walking around and troy was freaking out and it was awesome to see that <laughs> it was awesome <laughs> yeah those two on a spinoff would be would be amazing yeah. but it would probably be very hard to get uh frank delane well, back that, um plus to make him i mean they could use make him makeup to make him look i mean he's still a young guy i just but, like to see spinoffs where i know the characters are still alive i mean yeah. do with what you want after the spinoff but like i i want to know my characters are alive going into this thing yeah they, it's kind of like after the walking dead ends it's kind of what what tales of the walking dead is going to go into bringing back Glenn. stories of characters that are gone yeah so they can do some of those maybe with fear with tales of the walking dead now i don't know if tales of the walking dead is only 
Walking Dead related and not, you know, fear I and think world it, beyond. It wouldn't surprise me, though, if it's just Walking Dead. If it's just Walking Dead, yeah. yeah. Which really doesn't give us, you know, to get back to go to Fear of the Walking Dead, mm-hmm. really doesn't give us much of an option for spinoffs unless, you know, there's something with this next few seasons or two seasons that right. you know leave the fans wanting more right exactly they and and that's the thing where we talk about the whole spoiler situation yes we would have loved to see madison in the episode but because of fear and how their ratings have been being the sister show they need viewership they needed to announce that they needed to announce it yeah. to get people pumped for it. the people who who want to be pumped but for then you it. have the people that are watching it that say we're pissed off. We wanted to see that. Right. Like, we wanted that shock and awe moment. But guess what? Because they post these episodes a week early, it would have been revealed a week early. Anyway. Yeah, but at least I wouldn't know. Well, you I wouldn't would, have known I, it. I would know it's yeah. coming. Uh, but I could probably try and skirt that by not exactly. getting on. So, like, exactly. today, you and I, you know, we don't, we see them early. But mm-hmm. if we don't have to, like you and I are basically go social media dark. Yeah. Yeah. We, we ha- you have to. Yeah. We we do. We watch early just for recording purposes and editing purposes. It makes yeah. it a lot easier than doing it on Sunday night and then having to edit it to try to get it out on Monday. <laughs> it's pretty hard. But um, top. But, but I understand why they do the, the spoiler type stuff. Early. Top spinoff that you'd like to see from a character that's still alive. <sighs> on fear. Yep. Uh I would I would love to see something with actually with Daniel. There was a lot of time missed with Daniel. Yeah, a but he's going he's going. He's losing it. He's losing it, yes, but I would but there was a lot of time missed with Daniel. I would would love to have seen a spinoff of that. Um Strand. Strand would be cool. Like early days? There's so no, like or now. Or let now. Him, let let the show break. Oh right? yeah, let Strand yeah. break for whatever reason, yeah. and do a spinoff of him. That character and that actor is so, yeah. you know, there's so much that can be done with that. Ophelia, that's what it is. Ophelia, yeah, yeah. jog the memory. Uh, Strand would be awesome. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And if they had like a Tales of Fear the Walking Dead, oh, do Strand. <laughs> Too early days, and, and Daniel, like early on stuff. Like, want to see like a young, like crazy military type daniel for daniel yeah. yeah like what he did what he did yeah he was he was a, he was a mercenary <laughs> like almost. you could throw flashbacks to get to that point mm-hmm. but yeah dude, that'd be sweet yeah um you know we've seen most of the stuff for you know madison alicia nick uh but we definitely would love to see something with like nick and troy um more of like crazy dog and uh walker um the Proctors, I think, would be cool. We've always been, you know, uh, we've always been intrigued with with Proctor John, who's still um, possibly alive. Who's still possibly alive. That that could actually definitely work. You that know, would where work. would he have gone after the after the fact? Yeah. You know, is he still in the kind of the Texas? Well, he was. Yeah, they were in Mexico. Maybe he crossed the border. Maybe he's in the Texas area. Yeah, we he, don't know. He'd be a good one to show back up mm. at Fear of the Walking Dead, like a season eight or nine or whatever. Have him come back. That could be cool. That'd be a good yeah. Yeah, because I didn't like the uh, remember the reveal that we got in season six of the uh, the old character that that Alicia knew that dude. I can't remember his name now, but when we saw him, we were like, oh, that's the reveal. Okay. Oh, he was one of the guys who escaped. Um, He was one of the guys that was in the stadium that escaped. He was helping the kids escape. Remember that guy? Yeah. But he was all with Teddy and, or he, no, he was not with Teddy, but he was wanting to get to the submarine. You're talking about the most recent episode. Uh, Oh, no, it was episode, it was uh, in season six. It was before, um, it was before the explosion. Mm. It was uh, it was weird. It was. Oh, OK. Yes. Yeah. Remember? The episode where they're on the road. Yeah. They're on the road. With yeah, yeah. So for that one, I... it was like, OK, yeah, great. You're an old character that but we vaguely remember. And like... that's why, <laughs> because we literally if, if you have to tell us in the dialogue of the show that he was a part of that stadium, mm-hmm. then, you know, it was pointless to us because we don't know. That's how the D list, you know, character right. he was. Yeah. Yeah, it was weird. It was weird. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, I mean, because even thinking, I mean, we think about The Walking Dead, we can think of so many, you know, characters off the top of our head with fear. It's tough because we have our core, but then you have the side characters that really those side characters, 
don't really mean much, yeah. you know, and it, it's different with The Walking Dead. They can make side characters become memorable and you remember them because they'll show them up a little bit more with fear. They're almost like one and done like that Diana, the black girl with Alicia. She was freaking cool. Never seen her again. Nope. And if we saw her now, it'd be like some people would remember her. Some people wouldn't. They'd be like, who is that? Oh, that was the chick with the freaking wrench thing. Yeah, okay. Oh, dude, I got a really good character. Mm. That one kid that tried to warn Madison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. The, the, from the very first season. Yes, do yep. a spinoff of that kid. Yeah. Because that kid was freaking prepared, man. Yeah, he knew about that stuff, man. Didn't we do a video on him? Uh... We did. And we basically, oh no, we yeah, did, we, we found did, out his fate. We didn't post it. Yeah, it was, I didn't like how it turned out. So no. we didn't post it. <laughs> uh, we'll have to probably go back and, and do one on him. But yeah, his uh, his fate was pretty much unknown. Um, that'd be a cool one. That'd be cool to see if he survived. He got out of California. Before did he? They bombed, or if he got out. That's yeah. the thing. Did he get out of California before they bombed the hell out of it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so... Yeah, guys, let us know what you think. You know, there's you know, the future of fear, I think, is still bright. It really, I think the future of fear really is going to hinder on how this season is going to end, how they're bringing Madison back. Um, that's that's true. You know what I mean? That's uh, very true. We know there's a season eight already, right? But how are they going to be making season eight? Um, we're kind of thinking right now that Madison's going to come back towards the end of this the latter half of season seven, maybe helping stop the war to bring peace. But we're really hoping, like what Josh says, that we're not gaining a Clark because we're losing a Clark. Yeah. That we're not going to, Madison's not just going to come back to then spend the last remaining hours or days with Alicia before she dies. Stupid. And then we go into <laughs> season eight with only one Clark still. And if Strand survives, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? We'll find out, guys. Yeah. That's, uh,. It's kind of heartbreaking to think right now, but yeah. we, have, we have quite a ways to go. So let us know what your thoughts in the comments. Make sure you subscribe if you're new. Smash the like button if you enjoyed, and stay tuned for more. I'm Jarrell. I'm Josh. We're Nation. We're, We're out. out.